This is a tale of two sea urchins, one green, spiky, and fearless, the other purple, blunt-spined, and shy. The green urchin and the pencil urchin live in the Galapagos Marine Reserve, in the waters Charles Darwin once sailed over. You might think an urchin is an urchin, but a few surprising differences in the way these cousins eat and are eaten have led them to develop unique ecological identities. This can impact diversity around them. Urchins shape underwater landscapes all over the world. When their populations are left unchecked, they can act like underwater lawnmowers and form urchin barrens by stripping away algae, leaving little structure to house and feed other species. This pattern can make an ecosystem less diverse and less productive. The green urchin is a fast and powerful grazer, and it aggregates in shallow areas. The pencil urchin eats more slowly, but a strong signature of its feeding accumulates over time, and it is widespread. Pencil urchins are an important source of food for predators. Hogfish dash small pencil urchins against rocks, and triggerfish crush large ones to scoop out their insides. Sea stars drape their stomachs over urchins to digest them from the outside. Restrictions on fishing in the Galapagos have led to an abundance of predators, and pencil urchins spend a lot of time hiding from them, in rubble piles, under boulders, and in holes in the wall. This limits how much time they can spend eating algae, so they have less of a chance to overeat. But in experiments designed to measure predation, the same fish that eat pencil urchins by the dozens will only rarely eat green urchins. This means green urchins have more freedom to eat in the places where they are established. Lab experiments have shown that green urchins may eat even faster under warm conditions, such as those we could expect from climate change. These factors have led to concern over potential urchin barrens in the Galapagos, but it is still unclear whether the green urchin can spread beyond the shallow areas it currently occupies. A tale of two sea urchins, one delicious, fearful, and slow-eating species, and one fast, fearless grazer. It teaches us a clear lesson. Species are different from each other, and we shouldn't expect all urchins to do the same thing. This message extends beyond our spiky friends. As the biodiversity of the oceans is changing, it is important to understand the unique roles that species play in order to predict the effects of introducing them to new regions or losing them to extinction.